or full of peacock's power. If not, there's plenty more to choose from. A handy hand printer can knock his block off 800 yards of paper a day. That block's taken from a William Morris design and is 70 or 80 years old. If the artist had realised it would still be admired by countless home decorators, he'd have probably danced for joy. A Morris dance? Wood grain paper passes through eight processes before it's varnished to give it tone and depth. Watch out for splinters. It's a world of many skills, a peaceful world where routing means the delicate art of cutting the artist's design into sycamore wood. The routing machine is not revolutionary. It was introduced in 1920 and is guided round the traced design, leaving it in relief for printing. The design on this paper is printed with glue. This doesn't mean you can hang it up back to front. It's part of the preparation for flock printing, making that embossed velvety paper. The length is placed in the long flocking sieve, which contains the loose flock. He needs that protective mask. Without it, he'd sneeze, sneeze, sneeze all the way home. The flying flock only sticks to the actual design, giving it a relief effect. This is burnishing, making the flock pile lie one way to give it a sheen. <laughs> 